So what is going on guys, NatoPace93 here with another video and you guys have honestly really liked my how to maximize mouse support with iPad OS on obviously the iPad Pro 2018. And I wanted to bring you guys another video which also coincides with that idea, right? So now with iPad OS 13.0, 13.1, whatever version you're on, you now have MFI support from both third-party MFI controllers that you've been seeing for a while because MFI support came around, I think, in iOS 6 or 7. But now you can connect your Xbox One or your PS4 controller. So if you do have one of those systems already, it's very, very easy to just hop on an iPad and start gaming. So I'm just going to run you through a couple things which I think are very important to really help you maximize this MFI controller support using my Xbox One controller. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is, how to connect it, and then also a website that I found that really helps you in finding out which games are MFI compatible. And for those of you who don't know, MFI just stands for Made for iOS Devices, essentially. Let's hop right into it. I'm going to use an Xbox controller because I, this is what I own. I don't have a PlayStation 4. I've been an Xbox user for my entire life. The way you connect it is very simple, right? You connect it like a normal Bluetooth device. So you go into Bluetooth settings, you turn on the controller, you hold down whatever pairing mode uh, you need for your for your controller and then you see it pops up right there you just connect it you give it a second and as you guys can see i am connected right so i did play around with it just so you guys know there are no additional settings really i don't know if you guys remember before a mouse right if you have accessibility uh, there is a lot of ways to really customize what that device does but here you can try to add additional but buttons but i tried to see if maybe the xbox controller worked with the iOS system itself, but it didn't, right? Because I wanted to see if I can maybe use it as a mouse, right? To see if I can move a cursor around. It doesn't work that way, sadly, right? So even if I do try to turn on assisted touch, it doesn't work, as you guys can see. But anyway, that's how you connect the controller, and it does work well now with Apple Arcade. I've been playing a lot of Oceanhorn lately, so if you go to gaming, Oceanhorn 2, I'll show you guys just that it works real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys a website, like I mentioned, that does give you exactly what games are compatible. Because in the App Store, there's a ton of games that are compatible with a controller. You just don't know it, right? This one is actually an Apple Arcade exclusive, Oceanhorn 2. I've, I used to play Oceanhorn 1 all the time. And as you guys can see, I'm using the controller to move my guy around, battling these little, these little guys, rolling around. And it just makes it more, it makes it more console-like, obviously, right? You can jump around, roll around. And like I said, it makes it more console-like. It makes it more fun. You're not wasting screen real estate using the on-screen buttons. And once your game is MFI compatible, like I said, it knows. And you can, maybe not for this game, but you can customize the controls, right? So if I go into system, there isn't really, you can, there isn't much you can do with the controller settings in this game, but for instance, for a racing game, you can modify how to, you know, what your gas is, what your brake is. For a shooting game, you can modify what your triggers are to shoot, to duck, to move around, to jump. So there are a lot of games that are fully customizable and mappable to an MFI controller, like an Xbox controller. So it's very easy nowadays to just have a mobile gaming setup. And that's what I think the future is going to be. Now with all these cloud softwares coming out, like Apple Arcade, like the new version of, I think Google just came out with their own version of Apple Arcade. Also, Stadia is coming out, which is supposed to be, you know, console level graphics, and all you need is a screen. You don't need any horsepower, essentially. Now I'm gonna show you guys the actual website that I found. So let's get out of here. So I'll put the link to this website in the description below. It's called controller.wtf, which is kind of a funny name, but it literally gives you every single game that is MFI compatible. So according to this, there's 1400 games that are MFI compatible and that includes Apple Arcade games because there's a little over 100 and then all of the App Store games that have been coming around over the past few, well not past few years, over the last, I don't know, seven to eight years. And I, and I really like this website because it does give you, you know, Apple Arcade, gives you all the games that are compatible because not every single one is compatible. You can look up games that are on sale, you can look up games that are free to begin trying stuff out and then also it gives you obviously the the games that do cost money. So I highly recommend going to this website if you guys really want to take advantage of MFI supported games. And that's really going to do it for this video. From, from a customization standpoint with the iOS system itself, 
there isn't much you can do with a controller, but with games, within games, this is the only way to use, let's say, quote unquote, hotkeys, right? It's, it's, a, it's a weird situation that went with iPad OS because with a mouse, you can customize it fully to integrate with the iPad software itself. So with iPad OS, but you can't customize it with each, each individual app. And then it's vice versa with, a, with an MFI controller. You can't customize it to do anything with iPad OS, but you can customize it within each physical game. So that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully that helps somebody out. I know there isn't much you can do with it, but I wanted to show you guys how to connect it how to find games, and also show you that they are mappable within gameplay. So that's gonna do it for this video, like I said. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And until next time, guys. Also, shout out to Brian for finding out that there's a $25 gift card at the end of the last video. And shout out for the average tech guy. We're actually gonna collab at some point soon to do some sort of giveaway, maybe a holiday giveaway. Give us some ideas of what you guys wanna see. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace.